Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove, and in this video, I'm going to tell you how to become a senior network engineer. That is to say, a network engineer who has not only gained experience, but who has the edge on others because of the non-technical skills they have developed. I'm going to tell you what they don't mention in many of the other videos that talk about certifications and the technology. Network engineering is a challenging and ever-evolving field, and it takes more than just the technical knowledge and certifications to excel. In this video, I will describe the soft skills that are essential for success in a senior network engineering role, such as communication, problem solving, and leadership. Whether you're an aspiring junior network engineer or someone who has no experience at all, this video will provide valuable insights and practical tips to help you to succeed. Here's a brief summary of my network engineering career. My career in IT dates back to the early 1990s when I noticed that computer networking was really beginning to take off. I started my career then with no experience and no qualifications in this field and I've been working in IT ever since. I had been made redundant from a driving job and I was unemployed for six months. I was offered a place on a course that taught basic keyboard skills and I grabbed the chance. When a vacancy for a junior network technician appeared, I applied and I got the job. The first task they gave me was to itemize all the IT equipment in an old storeroom in the basement. The kit was old and dirty, but I rolled up my sleeves and got on with the job. After a few days, I had identified and itemized the contents of the storeroom, and they started sending me out to offices to install terminals and to troubleshoot faults. For the next two years, I gained experience as a field engineer, then moved on to Cisco certifications and more experience at another company. Over the years, my career has progressed and I can now look back on 30 years of gainful employment in this field. However, no one really guided or mentored me. I found my way through trial and error using my own initiative and a bit of luck. You, on the other hand, are much more fortunate because I can now tell you what skills you need through the medium of this video. Here then are the soft skills needed to be a successful network engineer. If you want to develop your career in network engineering, then certifications and up-to-date technical skills are not nearly enough. Here are the main skills you need to develop. Strong communication skills. Network engineers must be able to communicate effectively with both technical and non-technical stakeholders including clients, colleagues and management. This includes the ability to explain complex technical concepts in simple terms, as well as the ability to listen actively and respond appropriately. This is absolutely essential. I can't tell you how frustrating it is to have people on a conference call who have the technical skills, but who can't communicate with their colleagues and the customer. You know the old saying, if you can't explain it as if you're talking to a five-year-old, then you don't really understand it. Problem solving skills. Engineers must be able to troubleshoot and resolve network issues quickly and efficiently. This requires strong analytical skills, as well as the ability to think critically and creatively to find solutions. Time management and organizational skills. Engineers often have to manage multiple tasks and projects simultaneously, so the ability to prioritize and stay organized is crucial. Leadership and teamwork. Network engineers often lead teams, so they must be able to inspire and motivate others, as well as work well in a team environment. This will come later in your career, but it's surprising how soon it becomes necessary. Adaptability and flexibility. Engineers must be able to adapt to new technologies and changing business needs, and be open to learning and trying new things. Customer service skills. 
engineers often work directly with clients, so they must be able to provide excellent customer service, including being responsive, patient and understanding of the customer's needs. Attention to detail. Engineers must pay close attention to details, as even small mistakes can have major consequences, as anyone who has used the wrong subnet mask during a lengthy migration will tell you. Patience and perseverance. Engineers often encounter difficult problems and must be able to remain patient and persistent in finding solutions. Self-motivation and self-learning. Network engineers should have the ability to motivate themselves to learn new technologies and skills and should be comfortable with self-learning. There is another characteristic I would add to this list and that's humility. No one knows it all and you need to be prepared to admit to mistakes or that you simply don't know the answer. You need to be prepared to admit that you need to ask someone else for help to obtain that help and return to the problem with fresh information. Some of these skills will develop with experience, but you can speed up the process by obtaining training, either self-sponsored or from your employer. Show your line manager this video and it will strengthen your business case for the budget for the training. How to start a career in network engineering. If you're not already working in this field but you want to get started, then here are some tips. Get hands-on experience. Network engineering is a practical field, so gaining hands-on experience is crucial. To do this, consider internships or entry-level positions at IT companies or service providers that offer on-the-job training. Obtain certifications. Industry certifications such as the Cisco CCNA can demonstrate to employers that you have a solid understanding of networking concepts and are committed to your career development. As your career progresses, you can specialize and add more certifications, but the good old CCNA is still a worthwhile starting point. Networking. Networking is key in any industry and it is particularly important in the field of network engineering. Attend industry events, join networking groups and connect with other professionals in the field on LinkedIn and other social media. Keep learning. The technology is constantly evolving so it is essential to keep learning about new developments. Read industry publications, take online courses and continue to pursue certifications. Keep your CV or resume up to date, showcase your skills and experience to potential employers and create a video introduction of yourself. Include your certifications, hands-on experience and any relevant projects you have worked on. Focus on a specific area of network engineering. Network engineering is a broad field and it may be beneficial to focus on a specific area such as security, cloud or wireless networking to stand out in the job market. Be prepared to work hard and to learn from other experienced engineers. Network engineering is a challenging field and it will take a lot of hard work to become an experienced engineer. That's all I have for now. If you have any questions, please post a comment below and I'll do my best to answer. Please give this video a like, share it and subscribe to my channel for more like this.